right, it's Henry again, and today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn Gundam. And before we actually uh, get into the box, I do want to do a few box size comparisons because this actually is quite a big box. When this kit was first announced, I could have sworn it was going to come in a perfect grade size box, but they managed to fit it into a slightly smaller one. Now, first up, Here's the box for Master Grade Sinandru. As you can see, uh, face size is the same size as Unicorn Gundam's box. However, Full Armor Unicorn's box is slightly thicker than Sinandru's. And unfortunately, I don't have the Unicorn Gundam Verka box to uh, do a comparison to, but it's even thinner than Sinandru's box, so I'll give you an idea. And here's just an average size Master Raid box, Turn A Gundam. As you can see, Full Armor Unicorn is still thicker than this box. Uh, Gundam 2.0 and Zaku 2.0 also have the same size box as Turn A. And obviously here on the face, the Unicorn's box is going to be bigger. So, just wanted to give you a sense of scale of how big the box is. Anyway. Typical uh, Kotoki Verka box art, uh, mostly white background, although I've noticed lately uh, they've started adding some little bit of imagery in the background. It used to be just plain white, but I think starting with Victory Gundam they started adding images to the background. But very nice CGI representation of the Full Armor Unicorn. This kit was released in December of 2011, in Japan obviously. And you already saw the bottom of the box, pretty much the same box art as the top. Moving on to the side, we get an explanation of the, uh, actually, no, that's just a listing of all its weapons. And lots of photos of all the weapons. You get two beam javelins, hyper beam javelins anyway, that can be configured and all this. In fact, I don't even know why I'm it's going to take me an hour. If I try to list off everything, I might as well stop on the head. The Type 94 base Jaber is included with this kit. That was kind of, uh, didn't really have confirmation on that until close to the time this kit was released, whether it was going to be included in, or not, but it is. And here you can see the Full Armor Unicorn decked out with all of its accessories attached to it. Uh, these Hyper Beam Javelins can be uh, configured in several different ways, so you're going to have lots of display possibilities with this kit. There's the top of the box, and here on this side we get some explanation, uh, Kotoki's original drawing of the Full Armor Unicorn, and some explanation of the Gundam Unicorn series. And, see where to go, this kit retails for 8,000 Japanese yen, if my camera will focus, there we go. So, let's get this box open. Alright. Now, this box, on top of just being a large box, it is packed all the way to the top. In fact, this is the second time I've uh, opened it up, and I took all the parts out, looked at them, and put them back in, and I couldn't even get all the parts back in all the way. They're sitting slightly above the top of the box, as you can see. But anyway, let's take a look at these runner by runner, or bag by bag rather. This box is so big, it's kind of in the way. Anyway, this runner is this is runner X. You got some clear green psycho frame parts, parts for the uh, grenade. Actually, I think those are handheld grenades. They're not really launchers. The clear pink effect parts for the hyper beam javelins, and some red missiles down here flip it over and you got the exact same runner, so it's a duplicate. Alright, here, I believe this is the A runner. No, this is D. Whatever. Letters don't really matter until you get to the instructions. But as you can see on the front here, the extraordinarily large number of decals. Uh, this dry transfer sheet is almost as big as the dry transfer sheet that came with Master Grade Sinandru. And we get an even larger sheet of clear stickers behind that. And pretty much the same sheet of foil stickers that's come with every Master Grade Unicorn band I was released. And behind that is your typical runner of unicorn parts. This is exactly the same stuff that was from the Verka. There's a shield and chest and torso parts. Moving on, 
more unicorn white armor, beam sabers here. It's mostly for the legs and the arms. I'm going to try to speed this up so this video doesn't take an hour. Here we get some full armor parts. Uh, you got some parts for the extra shields. I believe here's some parts for the uh, base jaber as well. See little landing struts there. Including some parts here for the uh, hyper beam javelins as well. And again, duplicate runner on the other side. Moving on. Psycho frame parts. Again, these are the same ones that came with Master Grade Unicorn Gun of Verka, only these are in clear green instead of clear pink. And my camera's not wanting to focus again. I don't know why I want to do that. There we go. Likewise, here's yet another runner of clear green Psycho Frame parts. Again, pretty much just copied and pasted from the uh, Master Grade Unicorn Gun of Verka, only in green instead of pink. Moving on, some inner frame parts. Again, this is from the Unicorn Verka first release as well. I do want to go ahead and mention that this kit uh, uses the Unicorn Gundam Verka as a base, not the OVA version. Although there is one minor difference with the legs, but it's part of the inner frame, not the outer armor. But I'll get into that when I get to it. Here's a runner of full armor parts. Uh, they did, actually, yeah, I think they did away with the... Uh, original runner for the Hyper Bazooka and the Beam Magnum, or is this it? No, yeah, this is the original runner, never mind. But anyway, uh, Beam Magnum, Hyper Bazooka, and I think this is just a duplicate runner, Beam Magnum, Hyper Bazooka. They just gave you two of them, instead of just one, like you would have gotten on the Verka. And here's the one I was thinking about. They give you different uh, barrels for the uh, Hyper Bazooka because you're going to have to attach those grenade launchers to them. So you're going to have different barrels. So you will have some parts left over from the uh, original Verka release. And then you've got some other stuff here. The grenade launchers, these little struts that are going to hold up the giant propellant tanks. There's a little box for the uh, missile launchers right there. There's some thrusters and lower torso parts as well as those greenish colored ammo packs for the beam magnum. See all of the dark blue parts, feet, backpack. There's some more inner frame parts, skirt armor, waist section. Here's those leg parts I was talking about earlier. Uh, the outer armor, the white part of the leg is the same. It's the one from the Verka, not the OVA version. However, they do give you new parts for the inner frame piece that goes up under there. And basically, these have just got a little hole in them so that the uh, little grenade launchers will be able to connect to the sides of the leg. So that's pretty much the only difference on Unicorn Gundam's body from the Verka version. And then we've got more inner frame parts, uh, hands, arms, shoulders, and then we got some more stuff for the legs. And next up we get six beam Gatling guns. So <laughs> for all those people who complained about the OVA version not having any beam Gatling guns, here you go. You got six of them right here. More than you could ever need. More than you Corn Gundam can even hold. Alright, more white armor here. Again, standard Verka version, so we do not get the fixed pose uh, open V-fin like we did with the OVA version. Doesn't really matter to me, I'm perfectly happy with it. And white armor for the legs, shoulders, arms. And these last, actually now here's even more white armor for the legs and arms. And these last two bags are for the full armor. Now this runner right here is pretty much all for the base jaber, apparently, except for the beam sabers, obviously. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, we do get four beam sabers this time. With the previous Unicorn Gundam releases, we only got two beam saber blades, even though Unicorn has four beam sabers. But this time we get four blades, so Bandai didn't cheap out on us. And here is the last runner. You got uh, more parts for the shield, or the extra shields, I should say. And these gigantic propellant tanks. I mean, here it is next to my hand. I mean, this is like 8 inches tall right here. This, this one propellant tank is taller than your average Master Grade. And on the back is another duplicate runner. 
already 10 minutes into this. I hesitate even going through the manual, but I might as well take a quick look at it. Got your typical Verca style for the front of the manual. On the inside, we get lots and lots of photos of the various uh, things that come with the kit, all the different weapons, uh, some production uh, CAD images down here, and a nice shot of all the weapons laid out, and then all of them labeled with their names. And then, of course, typical Master Grade manual construction, blah, blah, blah. And, God, it takes a while to get to the middle. In the middle of the manual, we get illustrations of the full armor unicorn. Again, more pictures. Here it is without all of the weapons attached. Uh, some explanation of the base Jaber and some of the other designs that uh, kind of led up to the Type 94 version. And again, more construction, starting with the weapons, more weapons, more weapons. I will say, this is probably the thickest Master Grade manual I've seen. And if I can get this page to turn over, we get three full pages of decal instructions. Uh, for those of you who are getting this kit, we are going to spend a lot of time with decals. Luckily, decals were one of my favorite parts of building Gunplus, so I'll look forward to that. So anyway, that about does it for the unboxing of the Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn Gundam. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.